Welcome to Mission Sunlight. You join us today as we journey to the Portuguese Republic, more commonly known as Portugal. Portugal is located in southwestern Europe on the Iberian Peninsula. It is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean to the west and south and by Spain to the north and east. The Portugal Union is within the newly formed Inter-European Division. The Inter-European Division, formerly the Euro-Africa Division, previously included most North African countries, as the Trans-European Division included many Middle Eastern regions. In its many forms, the organized work of the Adventist Church in the Middle East and North Africa has existed since the 1920s. In 2011, the leadership of the Seventh-day Adventist Church reorganized the work of the Euro-Africa and Trans-European Divisions. As a result, the Middle East-North Africa Union now forms the territory including Algeria, Bahrain, Egypt, Iran, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Libya, Morocco, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Syria, Tunisia, Turkey, United Arab Emirates, Yemen, and the north half of Cyprus. In these 20 countries, the Seventh-day Adventist Church reaches out to help more than 500 million people. The Middle East-North Africa Union is headquartered in Beirut, Lebanon, near the campus of the Middle East University. There are health, publishing, and media ministries already operating fully to help the people in this vast territory. In future Mission Sunlight presentations, we hope to share more of the work happening in this newly organized field. Today, we return our spotlight to the Portugal Union. We have 120 churches, and all of these churches belong to one single union. It's the simplest way we have to organize ourselves. We don't have a middleman, we just work with ourselves along with our division. The 9,500 members in this union are on the move to tell others that there is a Savior who loves them and can give them hope. I was recently nominated president of the Portuguese Union. In the next five-year period, we want to bring church closer to the people. We want the church to have a more active role in society. We want to work with the immigrant communities, help them deal with their financial and spiritual problems in order to help them create a good plan for their life. We want to help them know God and the church. Portugal is a country replete with different nationalities. The church embraces the need to minister to all peoples within their sphere of influence. Portugal has always been an immigrant country. Portuguese people left the country, and recently we have received many immigrants. A lot of them are Adventists and have been helped by the church. We have people from Brazil, from the former Soviet Union, and from Africa. It is within one of these immigrant communities that a portion of the 13th Sabbath World Mission Offering will be used. We're working on a project with one of our African churches that needs our help. There are many people from Angola and the Church Fellowship. They are a very active church in the Union, which is to fulfill their dream. Although the members of this church have found homes for themselves in their adopted country, they have no permanent church home. Members currently rent this storefront where the facilities are not good and there are no options to renovate for Sabbath school rooms, bathrooms or a kitchen. We want a place that can serve as a church and as a community center. We need to go to the community and let them know about God. In this area there are many needs and we want to guide these people and help them in any way we can. And so we want this community center to help these people, providing them with food and spiritual guidance. We want to help the neighborhood and also the church members in this place. The 13th Sabbath offering for 2013 is for a building for an African community. They have no setup to gather members as a community. We would like to offer them a place where they can worship and a place where they can serve the surrounding community that has many struggles. Children are at the heart of why this project has become the focus of the 13th Sabbath offering here in Portugal. Above all, what made us choose this project had to do with the number of children this community has. We want these children to grow in harmony, including their physical, mental, and spiritual dimensions. This will help them build the character that will allow them to live through eternity. We believe we should create these conditions so these children can grow and learn what they need to in order to be good citizens. 
Pastor Fernandez has been working in this African community for the past three years. Despite limited facilities, he has a vision for his church to expand their reach of whom they minister to. Although this is an African community, we would like to reach out to everyone here because we have many people that come from our former colonies in Africa. But we also have some white people that are from the community around here. And we would like to reach out to these people to let them know that Jesus loves them. We want to be here for them and let them know that we are a church that cares about them. And so we want to invite them to our church. For 20 years, the African Portuguese church has been meeting here. The neighbors occasionally complain about the loud hymns and preaching, and the members have had to add chairs to the aisles to meet the more than 100 people meeting in this small sanctuary. But there's one more thing I want to show you. There are really no Sabbath school classrooms for children in this church, but in this hallway, from here to here, about three feet, and about 11 feet this way, is where the primary class meets. We are very crowded on Sabbath because we don't have adequate space for everyone to meet in different rooms. Sometimes, when we have many children, we ask the older ones to step out so we can have more room for the little children. Another problem is that we only have one bathroom for everyone to share. Kindergartners, juniors, and teens are all together in the same room. We would like a room for each class because we have many Sabbath school classes. It's very crowded in the adult Sabbath school class too because we have seven classes at the same time and it gets really loud. We want to thank those of you who will help and also ask you for your prayers so that our work here will be successful as we work alongside Pastor Eduardo Teixeira. We are hoping you pray for us so that we can reach people in this community. As personal ministries, Sabbath school, and evangelism director, we would like to deeply thank our brethren around the world who will give generously. We believe that your offering will be a result of the Spirit that is working in your heart because He has put this desire in your heart. So we would like to thank you and may God bless you. You have the power to make a difference, no matter how large or small your gift will be on Sabbath, September 28th. It will help build a church where your brothers and sisters in Portugal can meet and worship together. Reporting from the Portugal Union, this is Mission Sunlight.